right, that's a pretty close lag. They're, uh, they're measuring. Yeah, consensus is Eddie wins the lag. This is a B-side match, race to seven. I uh, believe the loser of this match uh, finishes in seventh, eighth. He hit those nice. Park the cue ball and move the ball on the break. Doesn't really have a shot on the one. You can see the one, but it's blocked. He's got the, kind of with the safety. He's just going to take the simple safety. Just, just roll up on the six. Not the, just knock the one ball to the other side of the six. It's nice and simple. Maybe a good hit. And is he going to get behind me? Yes, he is. Nice little roll there. And he's going uh, to kick it just two rounds. He's uh, made a good hit and hasn't really uh, left anything for Dominic. Might have a billiard from the one to the three into the side. Unless the nine ball is blocking that. If the nine ball is blocking that, he might, might try to kick behind. Okay. Alright. Uh, and he's probably going to jump this one. And he's going for his jump cue. He's made a made a good hit on the one, but uh, you know, he was wanting to pocket that. Not yet. There we go. Hi. Hello. Is that uh, is that adjusted to fit properly? It, can, it can it can be made bigger. Are you trying to say I have a big head? I'm not trying to say that at all. <laughs> I was kidding. trying to imply it. I wasn't trying to say it out right. <laughs> Being joined in the commentator booth by uh, USBTC champ uh, Cindy Sleva. Hello, everybody. Howdy. So we're starting here. What zero zero? They just started. Right? Just started, and here, don't want you looking at the wrong screen. This is the one to look at. Okay. Sometimes you get distracted because that one's delayed by a minute. So. Looks like they're using a, a different set of balls here. 
Yeah, I think they uh, they switched because uh, they weren't uh, weren't able weren't able to get tight racks with the other one. Yeah. A little safety battle going on here. Okay. And I gotta get used to the different uh, colors of pulse Like the four is now pink instead of purple. Yeah. I think the seven is brown. Alright, so it looks like uh, left Eddie a shot here at this uh, this combo. Long, long. He's handle that nicely. Oh, good. Come out with a shot on the two. The three balls uh, can be a little bit. Little, looks a little pesky up there behind the nine. Yeah, it looks like as long as he gets close to that side rail, he should be fine to come around the back side of the four, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah if he can get up. If he has any, if he has angle on this too. If he has some angle on too, he can get the skew ball up by the side pocket. Yeah, it's just as long as he stays. Oh, oh I don't. He think. was pretty. He was pretty straight, and I don't think he got there. I don't think so either. <laughs> You could have maybe just forward that followed that forward just a couple inches and just taken the long shot on it. And tried to force follow it instead. He's, uh, he's stuck the cue ball pretty nicely. Uh, is he gonna leave a shot? Oh, he had a he had a little kiss off the five, which but uh, three ball over here to the end rail and uh, has not left much for Dominic. Yeah. It's a good kick safe. I know he doesn't want to be kick safe in there, but that's yeah, he wants to be that was the intent yeah, he wants to, to stop be running it. Out. <laughs> so it looks like Dominic's just gonna mass a try to get a good hit. And corner hook Eddie for good for good measure. <laughs> seems like it's uh, it's been going that way for Eddie a lot. It seems. Yeah, but. On the other side of that, you know, if you're if you're letting your opponent back to the table, mm -hmm. <laughs> rules are a factor. Yeah, you have to take what what you get if you're letting them to the table. So what did he have here? Oh, he tried to tear him in off the side of the five. Oh, but he doesn't, doesn't look like he's left much for Dominic. Yeah. Even even if he can see the three, that five is, looks like it's blocking. Yeah, it looks like the four is blocking his path of even if he could cut it in the side. I don't think he can see that edge of it. On the other side almost looks like if he can see the edge of it, he would scratch. I, don't, I think he might have to kick it this side. It's hard to tell. Oh, no. He, oh, my. No, it did go by the five. That was a nice shot. How do we know? That's why we're sitting over here, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you have a, did you have a fun tournament? Did you I enjoy did. Yourself? I did enjoy myself quite a bit. I always have fun. That I was think. an exciting match with you and Damien. Oh, it was ugly. <laughs> yeah, I, f I felt for him. Just <laughs> play like Damien. I can tell you didn't feel too bad for him because you did take the win. Well, you, know, you know what? I probably felt worse for him than he would have for me. <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice stroke. So Dom, has he been on the live stream table yet previously? Uh, I think he did play a match on the streaming table yesterday. Okay. He's one of the uh, four or five guys that came up from the Portland area, right? Portland Salem area. Play? Yeah. I don't know where everyone's from, uh, and he bobbled oh that my, ball out. Oh my. And Two stroked it. it. And he overcut it. He shot right into the side rail. Who stroked it? Mm, well, that makes it 1 0 Eddie. Uh, we were trying to see mm. the instant replay, but we were too slow. <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like he just kind of. just two stroked it and <laughs> shot yeah. fast. But I was watching him play earlier, and he just seems like he plays fast in general, so maybe that's just... Just his style? Yeah. <laughs> so let's see if these balls break any better. I know Eddie was struggling with his break in the last match. He found 
the corner pocket a couple times. Oh, he's hit those oh, nice. Yeah, he hit those really nice. And but he still did he make anything? Came up dry. He has. He's come up dry. I uh, think maybe he's hitting him a little too hard. I, I don't know. He could be sometimes. With, with the magic uh, rack, it doesn't really take a, a giant monstrous break. It, you know, right. Just a good solid break. Usually a ball shoot straight into the corner pocket. Do you like to draw this ball or follow uh, it? Oh well no, the two's on the table. Yeah, Is that the two ball there? Yeah, that's the two ball over there by the s by the right side pocket. So he's going to have to kind of thread the needle between here and uh, get a shot on the three net. Ooh, oh, nine wow. ball. Uh, does he have a shot on his three? He might. So. Do you like to... So he's going to have to draw. Do you, I like to follow this ball, but he's very powerful. Yeah, he's, so uh, he stroked that nicely. Yeah, he's got a big, big stroke. Alright, now he's got to uh, navigate around all these balls to get around for the five. He's going to follow this three wheels. He's going to try to draw between here somehow. He's right through there. Oh, did he, is yeah, it he, going? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he got there. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what he's going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are just hard to predict. But yeah. Uh, here he just might try to draw back, uh, maybe even brushing off the eight a little bit, yeah. or a lot. <laughs> but he's uh, put the eight in a nice spot now. Yeah. He'll probably draw this bottom right English, just suck it back right where he is now. He likes rearranging the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> watching someone play on a bar box. It's very, uh, <laughs> big, big stroke. All right, so that's, uh, we are one apiece now. I quickly one one. I see, uh, Eddie shaking his head a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> He's uh, Dominic's uh, breaking. I don't know if I've seen him uh, break yet, so I don't even know what kind of break he has. Well, if it's anything like a stroke, it's probably monstrous. <laughs> probably, <laughs> yeah. Well, you were right, monstrous break, and he almost made that uh, knife. This is going to be a short rack. It's that nine ball hanging right in the corner there. All right, two one Dominic. I just saw a request for a score update for uh, Tommy Aiken and Sean Lewis. Sean won that match. And that was a uh, A-side match, right? Yes, it was. So 
Sean runs so time he's on the uh, loser side so that uh, I think our next streaming match might be Sean Tommy and Simon or Sean and Simon or maybe uh, it might be the B-side match which would be Tommy Aiken and Dan Louie oh yeah that would be a great match to watch wow he hits those hard Because someone, someone forgot to tell him you don't need to hit him hard when you have the magic rack, but it's someone forgot to tell him that. Well, it seems to be working for him. I mean, he made, yeah, I made you know, three balls, three balls yeah, in the break? Yeah, he made three balls that time, but uh, does he have a shot on the two? I think is the one of the few balls that are left. Rearranged uh, the balls a bit. Yeah. So it looks like he's left Eddie uh, straight in shot on the two on the side. Draw back over from the three up in the corner. Next ball is the five, it looks like. So he's going to want to get pretty straight in this three to draw back for the five. He didn't leave himself an angle with that side pocket's going to be an issue, did he? No, I don't think so. I, it's hard to tell from the monitor, but looking at the table, there's probably a good three inches between the, the ball and the side pocket. Yeah, gotcha. <coughs> this is good. He can just uh, just roll this five in, just mm -hmm. come up for a natural shape on the seven. I like those kind of shots. You don't have to think. Don't just have to make do anything. It. Just, just roll the ball in. You don't have to do anything special. Exactly. Uh, he didn't like that option. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, plan B. Hmm. So we're going to have to come with some kind of safety, probably. Uh, oh, that's the six. I thought that was the eight. These new balls, I can't tell what the colors are. Well, now it makes sense. <laughs> now it makes much <laughs> more sense. Now, now we're the ones that look like idiots instead of him. We're fired. <laughs> fired. Kevin, you get what you pay for. <laughs> My service is <isn't> free. <laughs> Alright. Nice out by Eddie. Ties it up to mm -hmm. a piece. anything off his break this time. Or maybe he tries to hit him harder like Dominic. I hope he goes in the other direction. <coughs> and, and the reason I say that is that, you know, I obviously watch Eddie play a lot, you know, and he... It's a different set of balls. Yeah, he took something off there, for yeah, sure. Yeah, he's definitely capable of hitting him harder than that, I know. Yeah, he just put a nice solid stroke on it. Right, that looks like uh, he's made the one. Looks like the two by the left side over there. Then the three's down here by the nine. The four is the pink one. I'm still getting used to these because of this. With this new set of balls, the two is much darker blue than it was before, it looks yeah. like. He looks pretty straight on the two in the side, and that it'll. He just needs to make sure he gets the right angle on the three to get yeah. out of those. Yeah, three to the four is the critical. break spot. Yeah, and he's right angle on the three to get up to the four. Three so to the four to the five is key here. Yeah, okay, so it looks like he can follow this two rails out back to the middle of the table. That's good. He's going to just 
take a little second look at that angle. I'm good. Very controllable angle, but it's not ideal. But I think he'll be just fine. Alright, I'm back. So I'll take uh, Eddie's proceeding to uh, make quick work of this rack. Yeah, that six ball keeps tricking me. I, uh, looking at the monitor, I keep thinking it's the eight ball. Just to draw it back. And he'll play in the pocket where he's standing. Mm, these people are breaking hard behind us here. Yeah, startles me a little bit. Alright, so looks like it is uh, going to take the lead for the first time in this set. So 3-2 Eddie, taking something off his break board for him there, so I, I suspect we'll see him do it again. Probably. I actually, I, I played in the tournament, and uh... And you got high woman in the tournament. I did, I did. Um, but as far as my break goes, mm -hmm. I don't break very hard. I, you know, I, I right. try. <laughs> <laughs> I really try. But with a magic rack, it's almost ideal in this situation because I can't break very hard since mm -hmm. my hard so break. It, so it's made for you. Yeah, <laughs> my hard break is about 50% of Eddie's hard break. And mm -hmm. so, you know, when he takes something off, he's probably breaking about the speed. as hard as you can. <laughs> yeah. So his, his soft break is like your hard as you can break? Exactly. <laughs> So now Eddie's made three balls on the break. So he's, uh, I think he's figured out how to break these. Almost yeah. scratched. He did, I, you know, I think that he put a little more effort in that one than he did the one before and it ended up drawing back. So I still, I think he's still trying to find the sweet spot. But. So what do we so have uh, here? Uh, it's hard to tell if the four goes past that nine ball. I don't think that it does. It's close. He's, he's got a hard time just dealing with this three ball. Yeah, All right, he's, like uh, he's, he's, he's attempting playing. a safety of some sort. He's not left a shot for uh, for Dominic. Um, I, I, I think maybe he was trying to tie up the three eight, but on the other side of the eight ball, maybe. I, I'm not sure. Hmm. Actually, that's the uh, six. <laughs> Did I do it again? Is that the six ball? They're hard to tell. There, these colors are darker than the last set of balls. If I click this ball, just refresh. Uh, is he going to get behind it? Oh, no, he's boy. broken it out for Eddie now. It was a nice attempt, though. He was trying to use that little wall. So probably just, uh, just follow this uh, three rails around back to around where that foot spot is, probably. All right. Uh -oh. oh, no. Dominic has a pretty open layout now. Right? So he'll want, uh, want a little bit of angle on this six ball to come out to the middle of the table for the seven so that he can play position on the eight, which is on the rail. Mm, 
I need to use a little bit of angle. Alright, he prefers the side. I would have thought he would have chosen the corner. And he's, uh, okay. As it turns out, he was perfect on the seven. And just pop out uh, about the middle of the table. I found that the speed is so hard to judge, especially when I'm <laughs> more so when I'm watching even than playing. But <laughs> I see the speed at, at which the cue ball is traveling, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden at the end it slows because these tables really do play, um, for lack of a better word, sluggish. You mm -hmm. know, they they like just I don't know. It, it just doesn't keep going as far as I think it's going to go. Well, you're, 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 used to, you're used to playing the malarkeys where they just keep going forever. Lightning fast. So, uh, you know, watching it, it really, you know, does something to my mind when I'm <laughs> sitting on the sidelines watching, thinking, is that going to stop? Can you hold that? Like, I feel pretty mm -hmm. lost. So now it's 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three, Dominic's break. At this rate, this is going to be the fastest Hill Hill match ever. <laughs> Unlike uh, that uh, Dan Lee and Simon Pickering Hill Hill match, which, I don't know, what did it take, like five hours or something? <laughs> was it that long? <laughs> uh, it felt like <laughs> it. It was a long match. Two hours going on five. He's mad at those balls or something. I don't know. You know, this is almost the exact same shot he had last time where, you, you know, he had a he sat it, made the one, and then the, is that the 2-5 two, two combo? Yeah, I believe so. Choosing uh, the cross corner bank and banking it short uh, for the safety, which mm. he's done. He's hooked uh, Eddie behind the three. Well, it looks like uh, where he landed. Looks like he's going to have to kick at it uh, to the left instead of. Looks like the four is impeding the kick short rail, but man, you know, gosh, it's so hard to tell. I guess uh, he can kick that way, maybe try to thin it and put the cue ball behind the eight, maybe, is that what we might anticipate? Maybe he's trying to hit it full and uh, stick the cue ball there and knock the two out of there. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he's uh, left him uh, straight in shot on the two, and all he's is just sh shoot and stop for the three ball. Yeah. And he's left this really nice for Dominic. Oh, it's going to go. So from here, it looks like it's stuck yeah. the ball, but it doesn't look like that's what it is. And he's not going to do it again. Yeah. Alright, now Eddie has a nice layout. The four is in his bottom right corner down here, then back up for the five. Uh, Pull out that draw stroke now, draw back a couple feet. That's good. Yeah, it'll do. And he's happy he didn't jack himself up there. Mm -hmm. Or bobble the four ball or something like that. Yeah, these pockets really do. Or they're not very accepting when they're hit at a certain speed. They like to spin out. Yes, they do. Okay, just in the bottom right, just pop out towards the six. Perfect. He's nice and straight on the six. And just draw straight back for the seven. Just uh, just a few inches. Doesn't have to come back very far. 
He can get himself some angle on the 7 to follow forward to the side rail and back across for the 8 if he doesn't want to drop back too far. Alright, so he can just draw to the left side rail and back out. So do you commentate on Eddie's matches often? Uh, I have. I wouldn't say often. Mm -hmm. But I've done a couple. And it's usually hard, you know, because mm -hmm. obviously I'm biased. I mean, it's a given. Um, Natural. Yeah. And so, you know, and, and plus I don't want to hear my voice too much. I have a mm -hmm. tendency to be loud sometimes. Well, that's, um, why we're, uh, that's why we're trying to be far away from the table. Yeah. But Dominic's a very exciting player to watch because uh, mm -hmm. he's a... Uh, so fast and, and uh, explosive, almost, you know. I, I don't really know mm -hmm. how to, but it makes for an exciting match. I, I enjoy watching that because, you know, yes, Eddie can play extremely methodical, but he can be very fast and loose too. And mm -hmm. you know, I noticed someone said earlier uh, Eddie needs to uh, play his game, but in all the years I've known Eddie, that is how Eddie used to play when he was younger. You know, just fast mm -hmm. and loose, and everything's hit hard. And mm -hmm. you know, the finesse has only come over the last few years. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to watch. I agree. It's, uh, it's also a kind of a clash of two styles here. Yeah. And these tables, because they play slow, you do have to have that big stroke to get around. That's They're making right. it look kind of easy to get around the table right now, <laughs> but it's very difficult to get around these tables. You have a big stroke, too, when you play. You have a big, giant stroke, you know, so you'd probably have no problem getting around these tables, too. Yeah, I, I, I like slower tables because I like being able to. Uh, hit the I ball. Like, I like being able to hit the ball. I don't <laughs> like. I don't like having the dink and slow roll balls all the time, which you have to do on really fast tables. So good break here. Made the one. It's got That's a the good two shot ball right on the two. It looks like he just needs to go on the side rail and back out, and back up, and yeah, uh, he should be fine on. Just kind of, just kind of soft draw this. Uh, Side rail back towards the back towards the middle for the yeah. three. And then uh, the four, he could probably go to, it depends on his angle on the three where, where he plays the four. Exactly. You may even see him shoot it in the top corner pocket. Well, it looks like he's going to follow back and forth two rails. Oh, I'm excited. And that's, yeah. I don't think he's going to like this. Mm, question that. He had a little bit too much angle that he felt comfortable with because uh, he thought maybe he couldn't control the cue ball well enough and might was afraid of going behind the nine. You know, just a one rail, one rail draw shot he didn't like. So he has a kick shot, it looks like. I'm trying to kick this in his bottom right uh, corner, or, or does he have enough to see this? Can he see this ball? No, he's kicking out towards that corner. And he needs to leave it as that's not gonna work. So it's long, but if he can just stop it, he should be uh, perfectly in line. Yeah, all he has to do is shoot and stop, and yeah. four balls right there. I mean, ideally, you know, draw it back, you know, an inch, so he's on the right side of the floor for the five ball, which is right on that side rail there. And he has the wrong angle on the four for the five, so he might have to follow Come forward. underneath it, yeah. Might have to follow forward and shoot the five in this bottom left corner. Which me personally, I, I would prefer anyway, because it's easier for me to follow than draw the ball. Right. So that would mean I can just follow up a little bit for the six, oh, but okay. he opted just to take the cut on it. Hmm. Okay. I guess he'll just play this for the side. 
Oh, I was able to hold that cue ball up nicely. <laughs> I'm sur- you know, that's that's one of those examples where I, I wouldn't think that you could hold it that well, you know. Yeah, I b- but I've on these tables, definitely. I've been I've been fooled many times over the last couple of days here. <laughs> uh, what I think I see in the monitor and uh, what they actually shoot, I was like, oh, I didn't know to do that. <laughs> So here he'll probably just come two rails out and out towards the center of the table. Oh, wow. He, mm. he hit that ball full in the face. Yeah, he did. Hmm. Good break for Eddie. Yeah. That was a, that was a tough miss for him. He just cinched that ball. Yep. He's just going to take yeah. whatever he gets. Exactly. Mm. A bunch of pockets yeah, he could have ended up in line with. Right. But he ended up straight in. Okay, so right. that puts up so Eddie 5 3. So he extends his lead. Yeah, Dominic, uh, I'm not really sure what happened there. He just, you know, he just missed, but, you know, usually they're, you miss for a reason. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what happened there. I mean, because he missed it far enough, like, that makes me wonder what happened. Yeah. Maybe he had doubt the moment before he pulled the trigger. You know, I do that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hit those pretty hard. And he's uh, made three balls again. And I think that's the two ball by that right side pocket. And that's the ball he's uh, eyeing right now. Yeah, looks like I can't tell if he can back cut it in or if he can cut it. There was a similar shot that Don ha- Dom had earlier. And he was able to cut it all the way down, so I can't. I think he's uh, shooting us in the corner, I think. Yeah. Oh, he hit that pretty full. Uh, Suzanne, uh, hi Suzanne. Um, she wants an update on some of the other matches. Suzanne, as soon as I get a chance, I'll, I'll run over there and check. Unfortunately, there are no beads, so I can't see the matches from where we're sitting and what the score is, but if anybody comes by, I'll gladly have them go look for you. Hi, Jeremiah. So it looks like uh, Dominic... Yes, sir. It looks like Dominic can, uh, can come two rails out of that uh, corner for the three on the side. I think he can avoid the five. You probably have to come short out of that corner and probably yeah. use the... Draw it over almost like you're trying to scratch, like pulling it over to... And then use this right side rail. There, yeah, he hit it perfect. Well done. like it can just jack up just a little bit and stop it. Uh-oh. And that's going to leave a nice shot for Eddie. So looking at this angle, it almost looks like Eddie can just roll it in and play the four on the side, but he might opt to come around 
come around the nine right. ball, two rails and out towards the middle of the table. Yeah, it really depends on how comfortable he is shooting this uh, four in the side. Right. I didn't touch it. <laughs> the way he's been stroking the ball around, I, I think he'll come around two rails. I think that's. Uh, I think that's probably what he's going to do. Also, he might even draw. Unpredict. Hmm. Looks like he's drawing it. Oh jeez. Well, if I could stroke the ball like that, I guess that would have been an option too. <laughs> 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 Just keeping it real. Use the tools you got. I think from here. Oh, well, wipe mm -hmm. its feet on the way in. Yeah. So here it's hard to tell. I think he might have a little more angle than he wanted to. Yeah, I think you can shoot his with some bottom left and just uh, just come out for the seven in the upper right. I don't think he. See, has I I thought he would try to play it for the side, but then he came out with so much angle. Hmm. He's looking at uh, he's looking at following this ball and uh, shooting it in either of the two sides. I think he hit that pretty good. I mean, he might have a little. He might have the wrong angle, he, but he has the wrong angle. But, but if he's straight enough, he can still follow it with a little inside. All right. Not a little, a lot, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, well, he has a shot on the nine. It's kind of a little long shot, but it's makeable. And that was a choice. You know, he could have put a little extra on it and tried to come below the, s the side pocket, but he just kept it simple. Make sure he's not flirting with the side pocket on the scratch, right? And make sure you get the seven. You know, the yeah. more of that inside you should load up on it, it makes the shot right. a lot more difficult. Much harder. He just well played done. it smart. All right, he's on the hill. And he's been making three balls in the break those last few breaks, so... That's not looking good for Dominic. Well, Jay, I, I don't know. I, these pockets can be real. I, I see a question in the the stream asking why the players bobbing bobbling so many balls. Um, it, it, these pockets play tight. I mean, they play tough. It, it, they they are very accepting when they're rolled in or at a certain speed. But mm -hmm. um, when you hit them with any sort of power and the tables play kind of sluggish, there's just this tendency to rattle them. They're not um, as forgiving, so they're deceptively tough. Yeah, they're uh, the cut of the pockets is you know they're cut kind of you know wide like this so that uh, did everybody see that? Did everybody see the motions <laughs> I'm making? Good. Wait, where's my, where's my camera? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think the cut of the pockets has uh, a bit to do with it. Oh, that was a nice shot. Mm, let's see. So, so the nine ball look, looks like it just got in the way for the corner, so he might have to cut this on the side. He might have wanted to do that anyway though because yeah. if you just drift it in it'll naturally shape you on the floor. Yeah, the even if the nine wasn't there I, w I think the yeah. side is the shot Still. it would take anyway. Oh, you said that really soft. Yeah. He's oh. perfect, yeah. The four and the five, I, those are hard to tell too, but I yeah, he's on the four. Yeah, I was. I had the four and the five uh, reversed. Backwards, yeah. I thought he was playing for the wrong ball. Oh mm. darn! Did mm. he hook himself there? No, I think he's okay. He he's, he does that on purpose just to just to make you nervous. Oh you know that, right? I, I probably bit off a few nails. Okay. <laughs> 
actually before the tournament to start, you have to uh, get a bunch of Lee press on nails first. <laughs> so start biting off someone else's, borrow some someone else's hand. Some right. sacrificial nails to bite. And that. Okay. Oh boy. Just barely got there. So this might be a fun shot to watch. I think mm. he might draw it around. What is that? One, two, three, maybe four rails. Actually, I think he's going to go to the inside English just think back so? and forth. Well, been way more exciting to watch him. <laughs> Don't get straight in on the rail. Yeah, he's been fighting those straight, straight in on the rail shots quite a bit. Yeah, Dom, Dom sure started off strong there, and then, uh, you know, that last game, the missing that eight ball was pretty big. What, that would have made it 4-4 at that point, right? Right, I think so. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is Dom's opportunity here. Of course, when you get your opportunity, mm. it's long and straight and <laughs> on around, you know, yeah. but... Kind of rooting for him, and yeah, I'd love hey, to it's see him. It's better than better than the alternative, which is you know shaking the guy's hand. Yeah, saying, at least nice he match. got back to the table, right? You're supposed to remember. At least I got back to the table. Mm -hmm. All right, he's left out of your shot. Yeah, tough, tough when that's what you're. What? What, what you get. Yeah, you know? yeah Dominic had a, had a tough shot there. But again, that speed, that, 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 that speed at which you're hitting it with, you know, mm -hmm. these pockets like to spit them out. That's good, Eddie. I don't, yeah, I think that's pretty safe to say. But, uh, I'll be shaking hands here shortly. Mm. Well, that's the match. 7-3, right. Eddie. Nice tournament, Dom. And good shooting both guys. Good shooting, Eddie. Oh, Sherry's back. Sherry's back. Okay, well, I'm going to return you back to Sherry. Thanks for letting <laughs> me commentate with you. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping by.